Oh, I've come! At last, a normal room with a normal person in it! Okay, you're being kinda mean there, Emiliana. That would appear to be Miss White, let's find out what this is all about. Oh, and there's a puzzle, of course. Miss Layton, look, there's a puzzle hiding here! Well, well, a stamp or not a spook? Then in the spirit of puzzle solving, I'll unstamp it without the lace. Ghosts and Gifts 2 Did I can do the one I, the number one? I legitimately don't remember. A little boy is desperate to win a toy at the fairground. So he's trying his hand at a game involving ghosts and gifts. You have to line up all the gifts horizontally, vertically, or diagonally to him. But if you accidentally make a light of ghosts while you're shuffling things around, you lose. You can move the ghosts and gifts up, down, left, or right, with any empty space. Ah! No, wait, what? Ah, so it's like this. Okay, I just saw it. The general idea here is for... Honestly, this puzzle is like surprisingly simple. There. This should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. Not a very difficult puzzle. I'm just happy this one doesn't have a specific freaking answer that I need to actually get the right answer. Because, yes, I'm still salty about the puzzle under the stairs. Haha, <laughs> there. Is this appearing in a puff of smoke now that I've solved it? I say, puzzles are rather like ghosts in a way, aren't they? With some of this, you have to solve them to let them rest in peace. Uh, I think you're stretching there a bit. Yikes, I can't see again. Oh, nice! I think when you have, for example, the farthings or other coins here, you don't tend to get... Well, that's me shutting up quickly. Really, nothing on this light. Ah, but there's one here. Uh... Oh! Oriental Ornament. This looks like one of those curse dolls you see in Japanese stuff. And yeah, makes sense it would be in this mansion. Maybe there was only supposed to be three with the, these farthings here. Which again, one letter away from me, something far worse. Oh, and you're solving a puzzle. Hello, Miss White. I'm Catriel Layton from the Layton Detective Agency. Hello, Catriel. Thank you for coming. So you, I presume, are from Scotland Yard? Yes, I'm Miliana Perfetti. If you could get straight down to business, please. Do you have some problem here at your home, Miss White? Oh, please, call me Lisa. Yes, I've consulted so many people already, but no one seems able to solve my problem. Then the other day, Madame Dublé mentioned a love oh, sorry, a lovely young detective woman she knew. I see, so she recommended me. How kind of her. Yes, and I also heard there was an extremely competent analyst at Scotland Yard, so Well, I thought perhaps one of you might be able to help, so I decided to invite you both here to explain. Well, we'll certainly do our best, I'm sure. Could you tell us what the problem is, Eliza? Oh yes, of course, but if you don't mind, I'd really like you to solve this puzzle first. I don't want to waste your time, you see. If you can't manage like this, I'm sure the ghosts will prove too much for you. G ghosts? 
That was actually funny. <laughs> Phoebe Fent. Okay, this one's supposedly hard. Oh, it's one of those. Some cheeky ghosts want to play with you. It's a game where you have to listen to what they all say and then figure out who's lying. It seems like there's a maximum of two of them who are not telling the truth. Select a ghost's faces to hear what they have to say and work out which one of them is lying and which isn't. Oh, I'm the one, I'm the only one who's lying, so... Wait, wouldn't he also be the one lying? Wait, no, I can be right, right? There are no liars among us. So, I'm the only one who's lying. There are two liars among us. Not everyone is lying, you know. No. It can't be that simple, can it? Mm -hmm. No. No. Because this guy said that there are two uh, two liars, not everyone is lying, which would be these two. Then this guy is saying that he's the only, the only one who's lying, and he's saying that there are no liars either, but supposedly they are, suppo they are supposed to be liars. What the heck is going on in... I am so co... Yeeks, don't! No. I swear, if this is the answer, this was not worth 50 picarats. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. It was. Nix, please, don't, Nix. Nix, settle down. Just lay down, please, baby. You did it, A and B were lying. You really enjoy the game, looks like they're not done playing yet. How is it supposed to be difficult? That was... Um... No, I'm not gonna think about it. Phoebe Phantoms. Well, Lisa, do you pass, Master? I've solved your little puzzle. Wonderful! Yes, I feel sure I'm talking to the right people now. You see, it's about the worrying... Well... Blood curdling, really. Events that have been taking place here. B blood curdling? I don't know if you believe me when I tell you this, but we have ghosts. I knew it! Yes, and not just a few either. The whole house is crawling with them. That's amazing! So this really is a genuine haunted house. Why are you so excited about Catriel? I'm afraid I have no idea why the ghosts have chosen to visit. Perhaps they are the part of soul with a grudge against my family. Or, per or perhaps the house is built on some age significant site. Or some other reason re entirely. I just don't know. But whatever the reason, the ghosts are here and their malice is directed at me. Do you mean the ghosts are scaring you? They're intimidating you? And this happens on a daily basis? That's right. Various supernatural phenomena have been taking place. I'm so scared, I don't know what to do. I've consulted so many people already. I had construction workers and surveys here, trying to determine if there's happening is really the work of ghosts. As the police investigate in case this criminal activity has behind it, but none of these avenues bore fruit. I even had a famous spiritual medium and a shaman, Nix don't. They're trying to help. But no one has been able to stop these mysterious happenings at all. I see. So you've really been at your wit's end. But then you heard about us. I... I really don't think it's a profiler that you need, Miss White. I'm not at all sure we can be of any assist against a ghost. Of course we can. Any mystery soul. That's the latent detective agency Moto. Yeah, I say Moto like that because of Hello Moto. How can you possibly claim that? So, um, does that mean you'll take the case, Miss Layton? And you, Miss Perfetti? Just a moment, I really don't... Of course we will! Whatever is going on here, be it ghosts of gu or guinea pigs, we'll get to the truth of it. We? I, I haven't agreed to anything yet! Thank you so much! Oh, that's such a relief. Wait, what? <laughs> ah, profiling ghosts. This really isn't my job description, Katria. But Liz is clearly extremely worried. You must do your best for her, don't you think? Oh, I say, you are so generous of heart, miss. 
I do agree. It's our duty to help people who are in trouble. No self-respected English gentlewoman could turn their back on a person in need. I'm not just curious. Is that an actual thing or like a stereotype that I'm not aware of? Well, I have Italian blood. <laughs> Va bene. I don't like to be manipulated like this, but as you say, we have a duty to care to this community, to the community. So shall we start by investigating the house? No, I think we should start by questioning all the relative parties. We need more information about what exactly is happening. I certainly don't disagree. A lot, I will accompany you. Oh really? But in the Savoy Theatre case, you were determined to operate independently. Yes, but there's one clear, tiny, minuscule, insignificant, atom-sized difference here, Catriel. She's terrified of ghosts. There may be vital evidence or hints that you overlook without me there to point them out. Sure, this got nothing to do with you not wanting to be alone in here, has it, scaredy cat? Your dog is a very disconcerting bar, Catriel. Come along then, let's get started. I think it's clear who the best sort of information about the young boys on this house will be. I'd say it'll be her, but okay. Gosh, ghosts. It's rather scary, isn't it? Gosh, ghosts. It's scary to believe in that rubbish, Ernest. You mean you don't, Charles? Of course not. It's all just some big misunderstanding. <clears throat> May I? <laughs> you appear I startled you, sir. My apologies. Yeah, and you should apologize to Ernest, too. The poor pup nearly jumped out of his skin. What an exceptional canine equipment. One discerns an almost intelligent tone to her bark. Thank you, sir. In fact, we're hoping to speak to you about what's happening here in the house. Indeed, ma'am. It is, it is to be understood that you have accepted, accepted Miss White's request, then. Very good. I shall endeavor to answer any questions you care to ask. Did I tell us that you've been experiencing a lot of ghost visitations recently, is that right? That is correct, man. Phenomena of the supernatural are to be observed here with some regularity. Since the, mis the late Mr. White passed away, that is. It is my understanding that the rather unfortunate moniker of the Six White House Horrors has been adopted by local residents. Hmm. That is unfortunate. The Six White House Hauntings has more of Mysterious ring to it, don't you think? Great idea, cat. Mother terrifying but Tell me, sir, have you witnessed any of these strange happenings yourself? Indeed, sir. I have seen the ghost of which Miss White speaks. The most spine chilling experience. It was the first of the six occurrences. An incident has come to be referred to as the ghosts in the garden. Tell us more. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the movie, the haunted movie, I forgot the name, where it was a parody of the song from these are the green green ghosts. Very good, man. One evening, I was performing my usual duties, patrolling the gr grounds that surround the property. As I was uh, walking through the garden, I heard a peculiar noise, somewhat like a muffled voice. Compelled to investigate, I approached the source of sound. To my surprise, I was over a great number of ghostly forms in one corner of the garden, jostling and withering together. You know, it just occurred to me that the six mysteries are going to be our six clues, aren't they? I say, discombobulated, I nevertheless had the presence of mind to retire before the operations became aware of my presence. Regrettably, however, I stumbled upon a small shrub and was bound to exclaim. Unscrupulously, the ghost heard my cloud cry, then turned to face me, and with great malice in their eyes, made an utter utterance thusly. Ooh! But isn't that your name? Ah! Arr! That is a tale of the ghost in the garden, man. You, 
You certainly tell it very vividly, Wooster. And you say there are six such tales. Indeed, sir. That which I have just relayed to you in five volumes, of look at the stubborn nature I'm told. I trust you will uncover them all. Again, I also just realized, this also, I believe this is supposed to be a play on the seven mysteries that thinks to be a, seems to be a Japanese, a school, Japanese school, I don't know, stereotype, I want to say? Because every single school has a seven mysteries or mysteries that no one people will understand, like the mannequin in the health club just says stuff walks at night, or you can hear weird sound hear weird sounds and stuff like that. We most certainly will, don't you worry. <laughs> that bell is too creepy for words. Can you hear what he was saying, Leon? You were standing a long way back. Of course I could. Now tell me, how can I carry play again the te details of the other five tales? Couldn't just ask the buzzer? He seems to know all of them. By asking people. Let's see if there are any locals nearby who have given us information. It's not like this wonderful haunted house is something of a local attraction. And honestly, if they could actually make it into a local attraction, especially during Halloween, it would be huge. Alora, we can leave. I would be a good idea to find some witnesses who don't actually live here if you can. Alright then, let's go back onto the street and see who's around. I still don't get why you don't get to ask the, you know, Lisa. I'm assuming she would be the one who, you know, seen all of them. Brr, this house still gives me the creeps. It's funny. I would never have said you were the type to believe in ghosts in a good profile must always interpret interpret data with an open mind. Allow your personal beliefs, the ghost cannot be possible exist, to call your judgment is an element elementary in fatal mistake. Elementary, sorry. Oh, I thought you were just scared. What did you say? Yikes. I mean, sorry, nothing. Hmm. So shall I find some people in question? Where did you wait, aren't you one of the police cadets? Miss, um, let me see. Ah, yes, Miss Layton and Emiliana. Good evening. What are you doing here, DC Booker? Um, according to my notes, the owner of this house, uh, ah, yes, here it is. A Miss White has asked Scotland Yard for help. She's been a target of some rather grisly supernatural yarns and wonders if, um, ah, yes, she wonders if it could be the work of pranksters we are investigating. Ah, Lisa did tell us that she enlisted the help of the police already, didn't she? So, Detective Constable. Is that what's supposed to be, DC? How is the investigation going? Mm -hmm. The details are uh, all here are somewhere. Inspector Hastings wasn't the case, but he was called away unexpectedly. Really? I wonder what for. He asked me to, um, let me see, I asked, to take over the investigation. So I'm uh, taking over the investigation. Have you learned anything useful at all? My news to say that, um, ah yes, here. Um, no, we haven't discovered anything that could explain the happenings. However... However... Well, I did spot a rather suspicious looking shadow at the window before. And? It's your job to look out for suspicious looking things, you know, constable. Ah yes, miss, um, I'm, sh I'm sure I noted down my observation here somewhere. Here we are. I was investigating the grounds of the house by myself late one night. Something made me look up for some reason, and I saw a shady looking shadow, because of course it's going to be shady, at one of the mansion's windows. All shadows are shady, Constable. <laughs> me and Emilia are on the same page. But surely it was just somebody standing at the window, wasn't it? Oh yes, it was much bigger than a person, though. And then it just disappeared, poof, like that. Well, that certainly sounds like a supernatural phenomenon. Honestly, it sounds like more someone had the window open or like a candle, and the candle was making light to make the shadow look bigger, and then they blew off the candle and the shadow disappeared. Mind you, it probably wasn't just that, but still. After asking some local residents, I discovered it's been seen before. People around here call it the Wraith at the Window. I'm afraid that's, um, let me just check. Yes, that's all I know. 
and raise at the window. Presume it counts as number another one of the six mystery, mysterious happenings. Yes, I think so too, honest. Well then, that's one more off the list. Is there anyone else here? Before I do that, let me just check with her. Because maybe she has one of them. The house is full of terrifying ghosts. Do be careful, always. No, she does not. Let's ask around here if anybody knows anything about these six whites. The C these six white house horror shall we? It seems they're quite famous in the immediate neighborhood, at least. Perhaps, but I doubt we'll find many people on the street this summer night. She's still here, Jesus Christ, and go home! Dear me, there you are. I've been ever so worried about you, you know. I presume you know about the strange occurrences at the White Residence. Oh yes, yes I do. I make it my business to. Of course I didn't want to say anything before, because I didn't want to scare you. But people say that house is haunted, that it's been cursed these past years. That makes it sound like some relative or recent thing. Well, all the rumors started after old Mr. White passed away, you see. I heard it from a friend, first of all, and she heard it from one of her friends. A friend of a friend, hmm. Hardly the most convincing of sources, but continue. Well, she was invited to by Miss White, apparently. Very late at night it was. She was shown into the living room and was just waiting for Miss White when, when a puppet that was on display in there started moving all on its own. No one was touching it or holding it or anything. It just moved. And then, just when she thought it was over, the occurred things I shot open and it started to cackle. Cackle? Would you believe it? Oh no. Oh, I didn't even like thinking about that. I'm sure you don't. Well, my friend's friend was obviously quite beside herself. She didn't bother making her excuses. She just fled. Fled right out of the house, she did. Oh, it's a chilling tale, isn't it? It's one of the so-called six white house horrors, you know. The possessed puppet, people call it. You've been very helpful, thank you. Terrifying, but helpful. <clears throat> oh, well. I don't like to gossip, but if it helps, no, you do have to gossip. Do take, do take care if you're visiting the place again, won't you? I sure think you might find him it, find it there. So the possessed puppet, that's another tale under our belt. They seem to be something of an urban legend around here. Let's keep going and see if we can find out what the others are. Hmm. There aren't very many people about it this hour to ask, are there? No, it's rather different from when we came to this area before doing the day. There were lots of people around then, weren't there? Ah oh, yes, that's when we were visiting Madame Dublay's residence, isn't it? That's not far from here, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, Miss. Stop. Nix. I wonder how Rex is getting along. Rex? Who's Rex? Oh, I'm sorry, Emiliana. Rex is Madame's Dublé pet Iguana. Iguana? What a strange pet to have. Actually, Lisa said it was Madame Dublé who recommended me to her, didn't she? I think that calls for a visit. We must go and thank her at once. This is hardly the time for making social calls, Catriel. Alright then, let's make it a business call. We have some questions while we're there. She may well know something about the six white horrors, mind, might not she? Hmm. I suppose that makes some sense. Good, it's a plan then. Let's pay her a visit at once. I like where, how we're just not barge inside the house. This snow slowly moves. 